I'm looking angelic today. I'm not sure exactly why, but my overhead light is casting a beam straight down here. So makes everything I do look magical. It's, uh, there's a fiddler at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> so uh, that bad slide uh, brings us into today's subject of of don't slide so slowly. And uh, for anybody who's new to the channel, I'm Nate Lee, and I post a fiddle and a mandolin video every week. And I teach private lessons the rest of the time and doodle around on my instruments and play chess. Uh, for those of you who are returning to the channel, thanks for watching. And for everybody who's not subscribed, make sure to subscribe for the YouTube algorithm and click that like button also for the YouTube algorithm. It's really not for me, it's for the needy algorithm. It needs likes or it won't be appeased. Uh, so check this out. This is what you should not do. This is a problem I see on all levels up to even the professional level. And it's a sound that makes you sound inexperienced. And so here we go. This is going to be a somewhat dramatic example of it. But still, here we go. This is it. Okay, awful, right? Um, I think I actually played that song on my last video, my last fiddle video. So go back. If it wasn't that one, it's the one before. Um, but yeah, it's a really bad sound. Um, but on that other video, I didn't do it. I played it the right way. <laughs> so this is something that occurs mostly on slides that are going up. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, I'm not sure why people do this either, but I think it's an attempt to really to sound more expressive when playing. But instead it just makes somebody sound like an amateur. So what I'm talking about are slides that take too long to get somewhere. And I don't mean slides that slide a long way. You can slide a pretty far distance and sound good, but slides that take too long to get there just sound like, it sounds like your fiddle's in pain. And really, the only time that this is really a good idea, and you better be careful still, is when you're doing something bluesy, you know? Like... But even then, most of the time, you're better off just doing quicker slides. You've really got to be careful when you can use these longer slides. A, a good example of some longer slides would be Jason Carter on Learning the Blues. And that's a little on the slow side uh, for how fast it goes. Something like that. And that's a good example of it being used very, very well. The long slides are there because they're perfect. And his fiddling on that recording, it is perfect. Um, so that's an example you can listen to of when it's good. Um, but these other things I'm playing are examples of why it's just not good. Uh, here's some more. There, some more bad fiddling. I got bad fiddling for you all day. Uh, so that's, you can hear why. It just doesn't sound good. Here, I'm going to use slides and that are the right length now. Or the right speed, I guess I should say. So those slides are still going just as far but they're getting there quickly. They're starting right before the place that the note is supposed to land. They're getting there very, very quickly, not spending time on the gradual out of tune part that is not good. You know, you spend a lot of time in the out of tune territory. It's just gonna clash until you arrive at the in tune note. And here's the thing that really Gosh, that light. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's kind of artsy, right? The thing that uh, really makes this even worse is that the note is got an allotted amount of time. Let's say you're playing a half note. Well, if you've got a half note's worth of time to play a D note. If you spend half or more of that time getting there in a slide, 
then that means you're going to have very little time on the note itself, the actual note that goes with the song that's in tune with the song. So you're actually spending most of the allotted time for that note out of tune, working your way toward the in tune note. And that's not good. It's just going to make you sound out of tune. It's going to make you sound like an amateur. So speed up those slides. Get to your destination quickly. In most situations, the slidey part of the slide should go by so fast that listeners aren't even positive if you did it. That's the way to go. So stop sliding so gradually. You're going to sound a whole lot better if you make that change. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that like button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure to follow this page, like and share, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.